Quincy store, then hove to at the Star of the West, and started making a tack for sure. Ahoy there, mate! Bellowed a voice from the dust as an anchor dropped over the side. It neatly furled round a hitching post, and the prairie schooner was tied. The folks edged closer for a better look, and were amazed at what they saw. Oh, it's a covered wagon, Conestoga type. But there ain't no auction to draw. The difference was built above the top. A deck ran from stem to stern. A mast was rigged with a tattered sail. And a tiller the wheels did turn. Avast, my hearties. The town folk stared and said nary a word. Then pushed out Mayor Crumb. He cleared his throat before he spoke. Uh, <coughs> Howdy, where be you from? Avast there, lovers. I'm Captain Smith, and I've sailed the seven seas. Now I've cruised to the west, and I intend to sail the lone prairies. Well, your clothes don't look like nothing we've seen, but your wagon's a type we approve. With no oxen or horses to pull the darn thing, must be the wind makes her move. You guessed it, my hearty. But now let's stow the talk. Till I see what your galley holds. I haven't had chow for over a week. My innards is furled and full. He seated himself in the star of the west and yelled an order or two. Fetch me some grog with biscuit and beef. All he got was buffalo stew. Served by the mayor's daughter. A beautiful craft was she with hair like a Zanzibar sunset and eyes like a blue-green sea. She swayed with the grace of a schooner and had the lines of a full-rigged ship. Captain Smith most swallowed his scuppers and his heart did a hornpipe flip. <laughs> My, go take a walk. The captain me has got business, and business is just man talk. <laughs> ah, where was we at? Huh? Oh, yes, about that there uh, wind wagon. A question I'll clearly state. I know you don't use any critters, but will the blame thing haul freight? You can bet your last blinking barnacle. Freight is just ballast, you know. Her hold will hold a full cargo. And in Kansas, the winds always blow. The prairie is just like the ocean, only greener and drier, you see. And the billowing waves of buffalo grass make sailing quite easy to be. 
Now take the course chartered here on the map that leads down to old Santa Fe. Oxen and wagons take almost two months. I'll sail it in 14 days. Now Jake Schaefer was one who could figure things out, so took pencil in hand with a pad. He scratched down some figures and added them up. Uh, that's a quarter of the time. He gad. I write some more figures and push them about. Why, that's four times a profit. Land sake. We could build a whole fleet of wind wagons. Yeah, look at the money we'll make. But they should be bigger and larger inside. Then we'll make twice as much, don't you see? Heave to, you lovers, and stand by a while. So happens I have the charts here with me. He unfurled the plans of a super wind wagon where everyone could see. Mates, I'm ready to organize the Prairie Clipper Company. They all signed up and formed a board. They shook hands with each other a while. And monies were paid for keels to be laid. Hit the mounted to quite a pile. They laid out the keel of the super wind wagon. Worked on her day and night. White oak and hickory were used in the ribs. Birch for the wheels. Just right. Wind Wagon met Molly each night after work on the unfinished deck that was free. As they sat neath the moon, he'd tell her tales of life on the bounding sea. Oh. Molly's father was one who frowned on such things. You could see he was mad as a crow. He said to his daughter, Molly! Oh, dear. Get for the house. I've heard about sailors, you know. Then came the day the wind wagon was finished. What a sight for everyone's eyes. Her 12-foot wheels had hubs big as barrels, and her mass seemed to reach the sky. The wagon tongue ran up to the deck. As a tiller, it stood in good stead. A tobacco store wooden Indian was used for the craft's figurehead. So beautifully fitted and greased it was. She's mighty pretty. She'd move with the touch of a hand. Why, I swung. And they rolled her out to the edge of town. Accompanied by the Westport Bank. Molly got set to christen the craft. Mid cheers and a toot of a horn, she took dead aim on the wood Indian's head. Ooh and broke a jug of old Kansas corn. The board of directors were set for the voyage, and Miss Molly led them up to the hold. When her father said, Molly, go take a walk. This cruise is for men. She was told. <laughs> Admiral Wen Wagonsmith mounted the deck and whacked the bell eight times o'er. Then looked in the hole that was fully packed and yelled, All ashore that's going ashore. Now he unfurled the mainsail down to the deck, then grabbed the long tiller pole. The sail bellied out in the Kansas breeze, and the wind wagon started to roll. She headed down the Santa Fe Trail, she picked up speed in the breeze. Down below the directors sat, trying to control their knees. Cutting a swath through the buffalo grass, the clippers sailed along. When Wagon Smith was so pleased with his crap, he started to sing his song. Yippee-i-yay and the yo-ho-ho, on our maiden voyage we sail. We're on our way to old Santa Fe, and we're really a blazing the trail. I calculate we're going 60. 60? Our O.T. Reef, dead ahead. Bacon savages, hard to port. Engines? Rick for rough speed. <gasps> Contraption? 
If you don't stop, we'll sue. Let us out! Let us out! Okay, you swap. Hold on to your seat. I'm going to bring her about. He pushed on the tiller and turned back toward town. The sail angled out from the mast. Then he pulled on the handle to straighten her out. Lo and behold, the wheels, it stuck fast. Smith pulled and tugged with all of his might, but his efforts were all in vain. She sailed in a circle two miles wide. The board was still raising cane. Now each time the wagon sailed past the town, a member or two would jump out. Like rats abandon a sinking ship, they'd hit running and tumbling about. Here comes another. It's his honor, the mayor. When Wagon Smith was now all alone and vowed, I'll go down with the wreck. Then his eyes did pop as a hatch cover opened and Molly climbed out on the deck. She tacked to the stern and hove to at Smith's side. I was hidden, she coyly did say. Well, shiver me timbers and furl me jib. Here's the wind wagon's first stowaway. Now, you better get off, because I can't steer. And I'm a feared her seams will rip. We're in for a blow from that hurricane. My captain, don't give up the ship. Just then, the old Kansas twister hit. With a howl like a wild Cherokee. She sun-faced and bucked, and the wheels did shake. Then the tiller broke itself free. I can steer her again, and we'll ride out this gale. He fought the storm without rest. The wagon sailed out on top of the blow as the twister headed due west. tales old timers told they saw a wagon amongst the clouds when the sunset turned to gold she'd be a sailing in the painted sky they'd swear on a buffalo high when wagon smith was a steer in this rig with the beautiful gal at his side. Yippee I -E and the yo ho ho, we're sailing along on high. Just Molly and me or the lone prairie on our wagon way up in the sky. On our wagon way up in the sky.